This is the fourth video of ICM basic tutorial. We are going to talk about how to use the GeoPlan. The first thing we are going to talk about is to how to move around the GeoPlan. Um, so make sure you have your network opened so that you can see um, there is a GeoPlan uh, toolbar here. If you don't have that, you can check, right click on the toolbar section to make sure that the GeoPlan toolbar is turned on. Uh, and also make sure that you have a network opened. If you don't have a network opened, you won't be able to see that uh, toolbar. OK, so if you have a, a network opened, um, and then you can see there is a, a small section here. You have your pan uh, zoom, in, uh, zoom out um, function on this GeoPlan toolbar. Um, the first thing that we're going to talk about is this pan tool. If you click on this pan tool, your mouse cursor is becoming this uh, palm uh, shape. And then you can drag your mouse. You can click on the left button on your mouse and then drag it to move around the uh, network. Um, the second tool is this zoom in tool. Uh, if you click on this zoom in tool and then click anywhere on the network, uh, you can zoom into that specific area. As you can see here, um, the third option, the third tool is this zoom out tool. Uh, if you click on this zoom out tool, um, you can click on anywhere in the network. You can just zoom out of that area. Um, you can also use your uh, scroller to uh, do the similar function for this three uh, tool. So if you click on this select and then uh, your mouse is becoming this uh, normal selection um, uh, shape, you can uh, uh, click on this uh, scroller on your mouse and then you will be able to use the pan tool. If you um, scroll your scroller, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out of the network. Um, OK, so the last uh, thing is this locate window. So you can see there is a locator uh, small window um, here. And you can uh, basically uh, drag this red rectangular to select, to zoom in to a specific model area. So if I zoom in. And then I can basically drag this to any location in the network. It's really convenient. OK, so the next thing that um, we want to talk about is to find and selecting objects. So um, first, we're going to talk about this selection tool. The selection tool is the, is the default tool um, when you open ICM. Uh, so the so this is just like a normal uh, cursor. Um, so you can basically um, select this um, uh, model element by a uh, single click on, on it. And then you can also hold the control key to uh, select multiple model um, elements like I'm showing right now. You can also uh, click on uh, hold the control key and then click on the already ex uh, selected model elements to deselect it, as you can see here. So you can also click on the uh, uh, blank space to uh, deselect all of the model element. The next selection tool is this polygon selection tool. Is located right next to this select tool. Uh, you can click on this uh, red, red polygon icon, and then your cursor becomes this uh, select uh, this cross shape. And then you can single click on it, and then single click on it, and then to drag uh, to uh, to draw a polygon. And then at the end, you can double click on it to. Um, select everything inside the polygon that you just drew. Um, so this is pretty um, uh, useful as well. And um, the next tool is the select all and clear selection uh, tool. Uh, it is um, located here. Um, so there is a select all objects icon here. If you click on it, all of the objects is going to be selected. Um, 
and if you click on this clear selection tool, uh, you can see um, all of the selection will be deselected. Okay, so um, the third, uh, the next tool is the invert selection. You say if you have a selection already selected here, and you want to deselect all of them and then select the other half of the um, network, you can use this uh, invert current selection tool. As you can see, when you click on this, um, the already selected selection will be deselected and everything else in the network will be selected. So that's how you use this invert selection tool, invert current selection tool. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the um, finding object. So if you know a, a, a model ID or if you know part of the model ID, uh, for example, I want to uh, find this node. If I know this model ID, I can just copy this node ID and then you know, drag to a different location and I want to find it again. You can use this find in GeoPlan tool and then we can use the quick find for this training. You can just you know, copy and paste the uh, name of that node and then click on find and then close this. You can see the uh, this node will be selected and and will uh, and this area will be showing in the geo plan. Uh, similarly, we can use the um, um, go to x y coordinates to zoom into that specific location. Uh, so if you click on this x y go to x y coordinate tool. Um, you can manually type in the X and Y coordinate and then click OK to go to that uh, specific area. Um, and the last tool is this uh, display object information tool. Uh, you can see there is a property icon here. If you click on that, um, as uh, your cursor will have uh, this uh, like a blank page attached to it. And then you can um, single click on, on different model elements to view this their properties, um, like, like it's showing up here. So if you have uh, multiple, um, if you click on uh, like multiple projects, you can you know, uh, ch choose one of them to view the, um, uh, to view the property. Um, another, uh, you can also uh, use uh, you check the property if you are um, in this selection mode. Uh, the difference is that you need to double click on the um, model element to view their um, to view their um, properties, and that specific uh, model element will be selected as well. So if you use this property, you only need to single click on it and. It won't mess up. It won't mess up with your selection. Uh, it it's not selected. We just uh, we just can see their um, properties here. Okay, so that concludes um, this video. Um,